Hey guys, Jay here, Rambling Camper Fan. Hey, I wanted to pop in and uh, show you um, this uh, cool thing that I got for storage for my Class B RV. Uh, as you know, in these things here, they don't have a whole lot of storage space, so I uh, I picked up this item here, and it's really helping me out with uh, stuff like my Yamaha generator, gasoline tools, and stuff like that to store for the RV. Anyways, let's go take a look at it. And uh, this is what I'm talking about here. This is a Stowaway 2 cargo hitch carrier. And uh, it's about 16 cubic feet inside. It's actually quite large. It'll fit my generator, a five gallon gas jug, a bunch of tools and some other things. And uh, I'll show you how it uh, installs as well as uh, the inside and, and everything like that. So uh, first things first, um, it has uh, tail lights. Has two tail lights there. It does. Uh, it does have a plug that you could. It's a four-pin trailer plug that you plug into like your uh, your electrical, so the tail lights work. It also comes with a uh, right down here. I don't have it installed, but it also comes with a. Um, it's a uh, license plate holder and light, so it comes with that. Also, this unit swings away it pulls away and flips out over there to make room so that you could open your door now I'm going to show you how this one is installed on mine <clears throat> and what I had to do now as you can see I have it quite far from the back door here there's a big space. The reason why is because of my spare tire there. I had to actually buy an extension right down here, an eight inch, eight inch extension from Kurt um, to basically push that out. Now, this thing is super sturdy, um, but I would, I would actually like to install it without that. Um, basically without that, this box comes all the way back over here and uh, takes up, uh, takes up all this open space here I did uh, I removed the spare tire and I moved it back so that's how I knew and it was a lot more uh, sturdy and stable um, but it's not going anywhere it just has a little bit more wobble because of the extension a little bit more uh, you know uh, bouncing but uh, it's it's sturdy so anyways I'm probably going to remove the spare tire and put it up underneath the uh, van so that I can bring that back against there again. Now here is how it installs and you can see this here is the extension. It's an 8 inch extension. See here's my regular regular uh, receiver right here. It's a 2 inch receiver and what you do is you just slide this into the receiver and then you put these these U-bolt brackets. There's two of them and what that does is it tightens down uh, this extension to my receiver it pulls them together and tightens them down and same here this is the bar the two inch bar for the actual uh, hitch storage so this u-bolt here tightens that to the extension um, and it just basically has a little lip right here and it just pulls it together so there's less wobble all right so that's how that installs here's the cable that it comes with so you can use the brake lights all right, now let's go to the other side and I'll show you how it how it opens. First, I'll pull this safety pin here. And we'll go to this other side and bear with me one second. I'm just going to set up the camera here so that you can see this. Okay. And there you have this lever here, all right, and this is just a tensioner. What it does is it pulls the box uh, tight into the rail so it doesn't wobble or move. So just undo that. All right, that's done. Now there's this pull, pull lever here. You just pull this up and pop it out. All right. Now, all you do is swing it away. All 
just like that. And it swings completely away from the door so that you can now get into the door. And uh, you could put this in a bunch of different positions. They even sell a, a rack that mounts to the top here so that you could set like, you know, a barbecue up there. It's an aluminum rack. You could set like a barbecue up there or a little tabletop area or whatever. So you can use it for extra, uh, you know, tabletop uh, areas. So yeah, and now the, now the back door can come completely open. All right. And, uh, also, let's see if I could show this. The pin, it has another hole so that you can basically put it right in here. Let's see where it goes. Oh. Let me see if I can find the hole. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you can put the pin in right there so that this can't open or close anymore. So like if the, you know, if you're using this as a tabletop or whatever, the wind won't come and blow it open or closed or whatever. All right. Now let's uh let's latch it back up. And then I'll show you the inside. Here's how it latches and then you just tighten this back down again sorry I'm reaching around the camera here so it's kind of hard to get in there all right all right let's tighten back down again now it does have a locking mechanism here a key and you just lift that, turn it, and open up the storage. And there you go. And again, it's uh, 16 cubic feet of storage. The locking mechanism is metal. You see here when I turn when I turn this this lever to open it, it pulls those pins in and out on two sides. Alright, and it just puts those pins right through those little loops on the top of the door. So and uh, here are the specs. Basically, the, this 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 unit here can, I don't know if you could see that, this unit here can hold up to 200 pounds, okay? Um, the two inch receiver model, this is the max model that holds up to 200 pounds. It does have a drain plug down in here, so you can rinse this whole area out, and you can rinse it all out and then let the water go right down in there. It mounts with these four bolts right there. Uh, to the swing away hitch. Right. And uh, like I said, it's got it's a it's a it's a lot bigger than it's appearing here. I could put my generator, my Yamaha 2000 watt inverter generator right in there and then a 5 gallon gas jug and a ton of room for tools and stuff like that. As long as you're not, you know, going over the 200 pounds, um, it holds quite a bit. My generator, I believe, is only 35 pounds or so. So yeah, this is a pretty cool thing to have if if you don't uh, if you don't have any more room in your RV. Uh, obviously, if you're not towing anything, you know, because you have to use your receiver. But uh, this thing is really cool. Um, I would definitely recommend getting one of these if you don't have any any space left for storage in your RV and I don't I have barely no room in my class B so anyways 
just wanted to show you guys that try to hopefully help someone else out that uh, you know doesn't have any room left in their RV and need some extra storage space that thing is the way to go and if you guys just do a search on the internet for hitch storage or hitch cargo or hitch box or anything like that you'll be able to find these things this one here was about eight hundred dollars so or just under eight hundred dollars um, so this one was pretty expensive but I did want a uh, a unit that was totally enclosed and lockable and swings away so that you could still get to the back door also um, it's waterproof so whatever you put in there is not going to get wet it has a little channel around the whole outside uh, edge of the the door uh, the, the latching door and there's holes in there so that the water drains out but it can't get past the channel anyways because it's like a lip and uh, let me see if I could show you that Okay, see this channel? See this, this thing, this little lip goes actually inside that channel, so water cannot get inside. If water even gets into this channel, it does have little bleed holes. So we can see that's a little bleed hole there, and it just bleeds out right here, and it's got these all around it. So you don't have to worry about water or anything like that, but if you do spill anything inside, you do have that drain hole or you need to wash it out or whatever, you do have that drain hole. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out. And uh, you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.